for a flat dumbbell fly, I'm laying on a flat bench. I'm flat on my back here. Feet are flat on the floor. Everything's flat in this movement, apparently. Just like always, guys, with our bench-based movements, I'm pinching my shoulder blades together, right? I'm not shrugging my shoulders up. I'm putting my shoulder blades in my back pocket, tucking them together. Slight bend in those elbows. We're not locked out. And then just reaching my hand straight out to the side, getting a nice stretch in the shoulders here, pulling them back in. I like to stop at shoulder width to, just to make sure I'm keeping within a range of motion that allows there to be tension on my pecs. The other way you can do it, pinkies in, touch them together and kind of pinch the chest. So I'm stretching out. As I come up, pinkies come in, heads of those dumbbells come together, and I squeeze. Now, another way that I've done that, guys, is I've had, uh, I've had a spotter hold maybe a cushion or, or a, we, we call it an Airx pad, the square foam piece. I might have them hold two of those together right over top of my chest here. And whenever I come up, I squeeze those pads together with the dumbbells. You could do that with other stuff. Um, I don't necessarily know what without an Airx, um, but it, it, what it does is it allows you to create tension at the top of that movement without losing it while that weight is pressing straight down on you, right? So there's no, no torque at the shoulder joint there. Um, but yeah, that's all it is, guys. Flat chest fly. Think of it like you're giving someone a big bear hug, right? Coming in together. The, the movement, though, the, the main focus of it is this stretch out here. That's where that tension's on your chest. So come up to your in that shoulder with position, right back down. That's a flat dumbbell chest fly.